Hi guys, it's Steffi from the Novelty Corner and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my review of Kindred, 12 Queer Lovers YA Stories, edited by Michael Earp. This review is part of the book blog tour hosted by OzYA Bloggers and Walker Books. Thank you very much to both of them for allowing me to participate and for sending me a copy of Kindred to review in order to be part of this blog tour. I have been waiting for this book for a very long time. I remember last year at one of the YA Rooms picnics that Michael actually announced that this book was a thing and we all got very very excited because it is so important for us to have the voices of queer Australians telling stories for queer teens out there and readily accessible because everyone needs to hear and read and see themselves represented in media and that's what makes this so important. This is a 2019 release from Walker Books. There are 12 stories from 12 fantastic authors. Some will be familiar to you, some won't be, but I'm going to read out the list of names just so you know because you've got new and emerging writers with very famous award-winning authors and I think that's just fantastic. So you have Jax, Jackie Brown, Claire G. Coleman, Michael Earp, Alison Evans, Erin Goff, Benjamin Law, Omar Saker, Chris... Christos, oh, I said I was going to learn how to say his name, Christos Tsoukas, Ellen Van Nerven, Marley Jane Ward, Jen Wilde, and Nevo Zizen. And if I have pronounced any of those names incorrectly, I sincerely apologize. On the back it says, what does it mean to be queer? What does it mean to be human? In this powerful Own Voices collection, 12 of Australia's finest writers from the LGBTQIA plus community explore the stories of family, friends, lovers, and strangers, the connections that form us. And that is exactly what these short stories do. It is a really, really wonderful collection. There's a whole host of different genres in this collection from your straight up contemporary to things that sort of deal with almost like a magical realism element. You have stories that deal with different walks of life. You have stories of characters who are in privileged positions as well as characters who are in less privileged positions but their stories are always reflected by how they deal with what they're going through and how the people around them connect to them. I won't go through and talk about every single story but I want to talk about a few that really stood out for me. I loved all of them and I have spoken to a friend of mine whose daughter has also read the collection and also really really loved it all. So this is a really valuable anthology of stories but as with any anthology there are always ones that stand out in your mind afterwards. We connect with things in different ways. Sweet by Claire G. Coleman was one of the first ones that really stood out to me. Her story deals with a society where no one really identifies as being straight and so part of this is what if the world was a world where that just wasn't a thing and what are the implications of that which I thought was really really interesting and a really fascinating way to tell a queer story because in the story everyone is queer and it's just not something that's acknowledged because it's just the way that it is, it's the status quo and I really like that sort of perspective. I also liked Laura Nairo at the wedding which was by Christos Tsoukas and he's a very famous Australian author who predominantly writes adult fiction and I've never read his works. So I know that they are very critically acclaimed. It was really fascinating. His probably stood out the most for me. I mean he's he's a wonderful wonderful writer based off this short story. It is someone dealing with family and how family reacts to situations. The main character is considering marrying his partner and the impact that it would have on his family if he invited his father who had an affair with a younger student years and years before and basically broke up the family as a result of it and you know the main character wants his father there but wants his father at the wedding but this causes friction amongst everyone in the family and so it's really about this idea of you know is marriage the important thing is family the important thing how do you reconcile both and can you forgive people and it was just wonderfully complex and very very engaging. Jen Wilde's story, I mean I love Jen Wilde, she is fantastic. Jen Wilde's story is about a convention and the main character is going to see one of the actresses from Brooklyn Brooklyn Nine-Nine and she's t t you know dragged along a friend to go with her so she's not on her own and the friend really doesn't want to be there. As the day goes on you know she makes friends with other people and you know comes out of herself and makes connections with people who she never thought she would and realizes that the relationship she already has is not necessarily a healthy one and you know, those slices of life moments are really really fun and engaging to read about. Likewise Benjamin Law who I actually follow on social media and I've seen him talk before and I just I actually need to go read his other work because I loved this short story and his was called his short story was called Questions to Ask Straight Relatives and it's quite straightforward in that regard in that it's all about you know 
how do you talk to family about being queer and you know how, how do you deal with their reactions and how do you challenge their ideas and do it respectfully I appreciate that so much it is really it is I mean I know I've said this about everything but it's really interesting to read about because everyone's experiences are so different and it's nice to have their perspectives as well so I mean the whole collection is just amazing but those are just some of the ones that I really enjoyed what I loved is that no two stories were the same there is lots and lots of different diverse representation in the book and it's very accessible everything was very easy to read very easy to sort of comprehend and then sit back and think about it and just process it it was a, you know a wonderful reading experience kindred is out now i will leave a link in the description down below to all the social media things the um, blog tour links and all that sort of jazz everything that you can find to follow and find out more information about this particular book I highly highly recommend people check it out it is a great collection of short stories and hopefully there will be more like it so thank you again to the Osway bloggers group and to Walker Books for sending me this copy and allowing me to participate in the blog tour I'm very very grateful for that I hope that you will go and pick up this book in the comments below let me know if you have read it and your thoughts on it I know it is the YA rooms book pick for June so definitely worth picking it up if you are looking to read it with a reading group. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that wherever you are in the world you are having a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you later.